In this video, I'm going to show you how I myself was able to fix CapCut couldn't load tab to try again. So if you're currently facing this issue right now, well, I'm going to show you how I myself was able to fix this quite quickly. So what you're going to do actually is to just close your CapCut app if you're currently on the app, and then you should be taken to this page as you can see. It doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or Android, just so you know, but then we're going to go into our settings app as you can see. So go into your settings app and then you should come to this page right here as you can see. So go into your settings app, scroll down and then we're going to click where it says general. So click on general, now scroll down and for me it says iPhone storage. But you need to click where it says storage for you basically because then it should take you to this page right here. And just a, a quick tip, this can actually take a couple of seconds sometimes to load to a couple of minutes. So don't worry if it just keeps loading, loading. It might be that you just have a lot of like memory or a lot of uh, gigabytes right here that needs to process basically. So that is why it can actually take some time, just so you know. And now when you have actually loaded this page right here, we're going to now scroll down and then find CapCut in here, as you can see. And then you're going to click on offload app right here. Once again, offload app. It's going to load here. It might also take a couple of seconds. Then you're going to click on the blue button here again, as you can see, to get the app back on your device. It's going to load here as well, as you can see. And this can also sometimes take a couple of minutes to a couple of seconds, just so you know. And what will happen is that when it, when it have actually loaded, you can now go back into your CapCut and this right here will fix all of the bugs that you had in your previous uh, CapCut version, basically because this will just auto update your app and it will make sure that you have all of the latest updates and all of the bugs that were in the previous update is now gone. So that is basically exactly how I myself was able to fix this issue.